Hey everyone, in this Adobe Photoshop tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a website button, like this. They're extremely effective and stylish and they're really easy to make on Photoshop. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go and open up your version of Adobe Photoshop. In this case we're going to be using version CS3, but this will work with most versions. So open it up and wait for it to load up and start up the program. Okay, so now the program's loaded, you want to go to the top, press File, New or Control N, and we're going to select the width and the height, as we're going to have a width of 200 and a height of 50. We want a transparent background as well. So now the image has appeared, we want to create our initial button um, thing. So we go to this, and whatever tool it's on, it may be on the rectangle tool, it may be on the ellipse tool, you want to hold down on the left, click, and you want to go to Rounded. Uh, rounded Rectangle Tool. Once you've selected the Rounded Rectangle Tool, go to the top and you should see Radius. Uh, 10 will make it more curved around the edges, 5 is what we're going to be using today, so the higher the radius, the more curved it will be. Now we want to go to a colour palette and we want our original colour for the, um, the button to be black. So we're going to just select it and we're going to drag uh, down our image to roughly the size a bit smaller than the size of the uh, thing that we've got. We want to right click, we want to press rasterize layer um, and now we're going to center it. So we're going to press control A, go to the top, center it in vertically and horizontally. So now our button should be exactly in the center and then deselect. Um, so now we've got our original button image, we can add some styles to it. So we're going to double click on shape one, on shape one layer and we're going to go to bevel and emboss and as you can see it's already making it look a bit more buttonized, so to speak. We're going to crank the softness up to 8 pixels to make it softer around the edges so it's less harsh and then we're going to add a gradient overlay. Now gradient overlays are best when it's a light colour to a slightly darker colour. As you can see white to grey works or uh, light blue to a darker blue. Um, there are many effects that we've got here um, or a lighter green to a dark green or a light uh, a grey to a black. Whatever colour colours you want, um, just play around until you're happy and then press OK. Um, you can add a drop shadow, we're going to add a drop shadow with the opacity of 100 and uh, the distance is 0, so it's around the whole thing. You can add whatever you want here, you could um, perhaps add colour overlay, a stroke, so there's a, a border around the whole thing. Whatever settings you want, and once you're happy, press OK. Now for adding the text, so we want to go to the text tool um, and this may take a bit of time to load depending on how many fonts you've got installed. Now once that's loaded we're going to select a font that we like, so just find one that you're comfortable with or that you want to use. In this case I'm going to be using Daisy Wheel. Uh, and type your text, we want to make it a bit smaller because it's on 72 at the moment, so 24 seems good, my button. Uh, maybe perhaps make this a bit bigger, so go up, maybe make it 30, press enter. There we go, that's roughly the right size. Now we want to centrally align the text, so press Control A, and again, centrally align horizontally and vertically, and then deselect. Um, and now we've got our button, we can, uh, we can add, well, now we've got our text rather, we can add a text effect. So we can add an outer glow to our text, so that gl uh, makes it glow, maybe bring it down a notch so it's 50 and change the colour to white, so the same as the colour of the font uh, and our text, maybe add gradient overlay or whatever, just play around with the styles and once you're happy press OK. So now we've got our button, we can, we can save it, that is how to make a button. We're going to add one last final touch, we are going to add a glass effect, so go to the elliptical marquee tool on the selection and drag it around the button like so, once you're happy that either side is roughly equal, like that, we can now go to the paint bucket tool, select white, and drop it in there, so we'll fill the whole thing with white. Deselect. Now obviously it's all covering it, you can't really see the text very well, so on this layer we want to change the opacity, or opacity, to 10. <clears throat> 10%. Now that's looking good, and we've got a glass effect. There is your button. We can uh, move it around a bit so it looks better, the, uh, the glass effect, using the arrow keys, shift it up a bit or down a bit, from left to right, wherever you want. And then go to File, Save, save your image wherever you want, and save it in whatever format you want. I recommend 
uh, PNG or JPEG. Thanks for watching guys, I uh, hope you have fun making your buttons. Please don't forget to rate, comment, favourite and subscribe this video. More tutorials coming up soon.